Hey everyone, it's me again and Archie as well. Hello! I've been watching this girl, Sophia Nygaard, I think that that's her name. I saw she had a series about buying stuff from Wish. I was looking at some of the stuff that she was scrolling past and I was like, I would have picked that! Why did she pick the other thing? So that kind of made me think, what if I did a video with you guys where I say, how about you guys send me the stuff that you want to see from Wish? Maybe it's something that you saw and you were like, wow, that looks so good, but it's only $2. It can't be any good. Like there's no reviews or the reviews are crap or whatever. So you haven't bought it. So I popped onto Instagram and I said to you guys, send me the things that you want to see. You guys really came through. And can I just say, Y'all have a pretty good aesthetic. I'm gonna buy it now. I'll probably have to wait a month or two or maybe even three before it arrives. But when it does arrive, we're gonna take a look at it a little bit later in the video. The first item that we're gonna check out is... Ah, uh, yes Archie, come here. What are you doing under there? The life of an otaku girl has asked me to check out... Sailor Moon Pajama Set T-shirt shorts and a Sailor Chibi Moon costume Lolly Girl Lolly to Sweet Set Harajuku Japanese Kawaii Clothes. That picture looks like they're selling something completely different to pajamas. $22, let's go medium, I guess, and color pink. Sorry, uh, Miss Otaku Girl, if you wanted me to try the blue one. Nah, nah, pink it is. Imaginary kitties. She sent me two things. Thing number one, whoo, Etude House. You guys probably know, Etude House, like my favorite lipstick. I always post pictures of that lipstick all the time. This looks like a fake version of that. I don't even know if they actually make one of these, if Etude House actually makes this, but this uh, dupe is called Waterproof Lip Gloss, Flower Lipstick, Temperature Change, Color Jelly, Lipstick Balm, Moisturizer Transparent, Long Lasting Cosmetics. For only $2. Uh, I don't know about how long lasting that's gonna be, but okay, I think we're just gonna go with number one because that's the closest thing to pastel pink that I can see. What's the second thing sent by imaginary kitties? Oh, Archie, no, stop it. What is that? A cartoon stitch doll, clothes, pet, jacket coat, puppy cat, costumes, apparel, winter shopping king. Oh, it's a dog jacket. Oh my God. Archie, are you gonna wear that? Because I don't have a dog, or at least not in this apartment. I do back home. So maybe we might have to take a visit to my parents' house and put this on one of my dogs. Choose a size. Well, let's just go, hmm. Medium? Eight dollars. Oh well, whatever. Tilda.d would like me to buy a four dollar hot women's hoodie casual sports sweatshirt pull over candy coat jacket at my cost. Used to be a hundred and one Australian dollars. Yeah, I'm sure it was. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that wish. Let's go small for the size and pink for the colour. Pookie Slime has asked me to review Peach Juice Japanses. Japanses. Aesthetic grunge t-shirt women, girls, nineties, kawaii, white tee, summer casual, tumbler outfit. Tumblr outfit. Color, there's only one choice. White. Add it. You all know I like peaches, so I'm really excited about that. That's super cute. Kawaii Koneko, she would like me to get a ukulele. A 21 inch 12 fret bass wood soprano ukulele ukulele yuki. Christmas gift Hawaii guitar, string, string, a strap, carrying bag, musical instrument kit, color pink. $37. You know what? Sure. For the sake of the video, let's add it. Polka Dot Design has asked me to grab a. Women's girls, Japanese Hawaii, strawberry milk box, graphic hooded, sweatshirt, long sleeve, loose pullover pink outerwear. Eleven dollars. That's that's all right. Is this a pullover or is it a t-shirt? Archie, do you do you know? I'm not sure. I'm just as confused as you are, my friend. Here we go. Let's just go for the one with the hood. I'm assuming that's what she wanted. Apparently, there's one person viewing it right now. Is that you, polka dot design? The slyest fox is a bit of a sly fox. She has sent me one, two, three. She sent me. Four things to review? Okay, let's let's check them out. If the oh New! 28th in Harajuku Soft Sister Light Blue Pink Color Gradient Cosplay with Girl Style Cat No Headwear Multicolor. Okay. It actually looks really cute. I really hope it's as nice as that. We now have 26 inch ultra soft mint green ombre with dark brown long. Dark brown? But it's green! Long straight, heat resistant, vital wig, synthetic silky wig. Heat resistant? We're gonna put that to the test. Oh, they, there's different colors. Okay, well she sent me a picture of the mint green one, so. Did you just get excited that I said green? Oh, you sweet boy. Yes, we're gonna do something green, finally. What's the next one from the sliced fox? Shoes. They're, they're kind of cute. We'll go white. Oh God, size. Um, what do people have to say about the sizing? 
Eustacia says, just like the picture, perfect size. Sharon says, just right, thanks, but I have changed address now. 24 Quakers Road, Barayong, Blacktown, New South Wales. Oh my God. Sharan, you're not meant to put your address on there, lady. Maybe I'll go say hello. Joking. Jordan, seems like decent shoe for the price so far. If you have very wide or flat feet, try two sizes up. My pinky toes stick out a bit. If this happens to you, some cute socks will make them fit much better. Wow, Jordan. Listen to you, don't you put some good style tips? It looks like they don't actually have my size in the first place, so I can't really go two sizes up. So let's just get the biggest size we can, go for 39, and there's white, white dot, black and black bean. White, $21, it's a little bit much, but we'll do it for you, the sliced fox. Next. 75 centimeters, sweet, lovely, honey, duke, gradient, multicolored, carved wigs, heat resistant, false hair, anime cosplay, costume party, size one, multicolor. Bye. Scarlet the Harlot has sent me Angel Coco 90s pink aesthetic t-shirt, women tumbler, fashion casual loose graphic tee. Well, that's fine by me. Uh, pink, yep, perfect, 11 bucks, bang, shebang, done. Cutie Crybaby wants me to try this hoodie hooded sweatshirt, pink, honey, dicky, lady, sweet lolita, hoodie casual, cute, kawaii, morty girls, pull over winter fleece. There's only one size and one colour, so let's buy it for $23. I'm sorry this is so boring to you. Do you want me to buy you something? You can wear the stitch jacket. Okay, Archie, are you ready to fast forward? Two or three months? Are you ready? Are you excited? While we wait for the items to arrive, we're gonna take a little Archie interlude, Archie interlude. It's an Archie interlude. Half time with Archie. Hey guys, we're back and we have all of the stuff here. So we're gonna go over all the items. First of all, we have this little Sailor Moon pajama set, which according to the website, is $20. Here it is, it's a two-piece set. My first impressions right away are, this is actually quite nice quality. I'm really surprised. I thought this would be really thin and really, really cheap, but it's actually very thick. Like I could almost wear these pajamas in winter, to be honest, they're, they're very warm and it actually seems to be quite well made. There's a little bit of give here, it's quite stretchy. And on the back is this adorable little bow, which I think is so cute. <laughs> That's the front of the top which is absolutely adorable. And the back as well has the classic Sailor Moon pinafore. The top is a different sort of material to what the bottoms are. The bottoms are super, super, super soft. The top is a little bit scratchy, but you know, absolutely nothing to complain about. It's still really nice. Let's try it on. Here's the set. It's actually kind of cute. Look, look at these cute little shorts with the cute little frilly details. There's the back with the bow and the top. I think this top is absolutely adorable. I would actually wear this out just like as a normal everyday top. I would probably wear it with a skirt or something. It's just these little shorts that make it, you know, like a pajama kind of set. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna be doing a little uh, expectation reality post for every single thing that I try on. Let's have a look at the uh, expectation reality of this Sailor Moon set. If only my legs are about five kilos thinner, I would probably look just as cute as the pictures. <laughs> Overall, I would say I'm actually really, really happy with this. For $20, this set is absolutely adorable. And if you're a Sailor Moon fan, you will probably go nuts for this. Like, I can't complain about the quality. I think it feels really nice. This top is so cute. It also came in blue. Uh, so if you're not a pastel girl like me, if you just like Sailor Moon, the blue one might be for you. But absolutely, I would give this maybe a, 7 out of 10, would buy again. Do you like it, Archie? What do you think? Ah. Uh... Next up, we have the Angel T-shirt, which is quite cute. I like the color. Uh, again, with the quality, it just feels like a normal everyday T-shirt. I'm not really sure what the fabric is, but it just feels like a normal T-shirt. It's not hard, it's not exceptionally soft, but it's, it's all right. In terms of expectation reality, The one in the photo, the, the writing was really pastel, and this is definitely not pastel. That is red or hot pink. First impressions, sizing looks all right. The color is cute, let's try it on. Here it is on. This is so cute, I am so chuffed. Apparently this was $10. I would pay $10 for this any day. I would pay 20 bucks for this. This, oh, yes, hello. You like it, do you? Oh, I like it too. This is adorable. I think even though this part was meant to be pastel and it's not, I ain't mad. 
can, can you please not? I was on a website the other day, it was either Lazy Oaf or Dolls Kill or something, I can't remember, but I saw this and it was after I'd ordered it and I spotted it and I was like, wait a second, <laughs> that's what I ordered from Wish. So I have a feeling that this design is actually a knockoff from another company. So if you know what the original one was meant to be, I think it was Lazy Oaf, but I'm not really sure. I just remember I spotted it on a website and I thought, oh man, did I buy a knockoff? Oops, <laughs> don't hurt me. Please don't at me. <laughs> 10 bucks, 100% I would buy this again. I love it. This is adorable. Next up we have the peach tea. Now, if I remember correctly, this was not bright yellow on the website. This yellow is that shade of like, you know, after you've had a Barocca and you pee, that's that yellow. I thought it was gonna be like a really sweet, super, super pale pastel buttercup yellow, which I would have loved. But this is really throwing me off. I mean, I guess the cartoon is right. Like, it looks like the right design, but it's just not the colour that I thought that it was going to be, which is very sad. Here's the peach top on. I'm not the biggest fan of the fit. Uh, it's a little bit kind of like, I don't know, not very flattering. It's not doing me any favours. And this, listen, ready? It's like a musical instrument. This is a decal. They've just basically stuck it on the top. And I can guarantee you, the moment that I put this t-shirt in the wash, this is just gonna flake right off. This is not gonna last a single wash. So, sure, $15, it's cute and all, but for $15, it's basically gonna give you one wear. And that is not good cost per wear, guys. This one is a no from me. And uh, the expectation reality, So the next item that we have is, it's this pink sweater. So this was, the website is telling me $3. Look, taking one look at it, I think it's worth it. I haven't even put it on yet, but I think it's worth it because look at it. Like, it's a sweater. It's literally a sweater. It's not super soft, but what about the inside? Ooh. 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 The inside is soft like marshmallows. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Let's try it on. Oh, he's come for the tag. Okay, so here's the sweater. The fit is a little bit strange. I feel like the sleeves are a little tiny bit short, not to mention the color is not what I thought it was going to be. It looked like a really nice pastel pink and this is, I mean, there's nothing wrong, like it's pink. Don't, don't get me wrong. As long as it's pink, I'm happy. But it's not the pink that I thought it would be. Oh. Look at that! Oh my gosh, you can see the t-shirt underneath. This thing is like transparent. What the hell? I'm so confused right now. How can something be this thick but also be transparent? What is this witchcraft? The expectation reality on this one is, again, not quite what I had hoped. The next item in our haul is this hoodie. First impressions, the outside is a bit like this one. Actually, no, this is harder on the outside than what this one is. This one is very like firm on the outside and soft on the inside. The design is pretty cute. It's very long and it's not stretchy. Oh, Archie, quit it. Not this again. No, Archie, Archie. Just go over there. No, Archie, no, no, no! Oh God, there is no give. It is so stiff. It's, no, oh, Archie, no, stop, please. Okay, well, here it is. As you can see, it is, oh, look at that. That's, that's a funny side. It's very long. It comes down further than my shorts do. So it's almost like a dress. It's a bit of a sweater dress. Uh, this design is really cute, like we've got yes and love and I love R, R, H. We've got donuts, we've got gingerbread bears, all sorts of things. Yeah, it's cute. And look, it's green, so Archie absolutely loves it. With the hood on, I feel a little bit like a, a sock. Actually, I really like this one. This is absolutely adorable. According to the website, it's $27 though, so there's no way in hell 
in my right mind, I would pay $27 for this because it just doesn't feel nice enough on the outside. Like it looks really cute. The inside is soft, but I really don't think that it's worth $27. But in terms of expectation reality, I think this one is a solid pass. This next one I am super, super excited about. This one is the peach hoodie. Look, I'll show you from the back. Archie, you're making this very difficult. How cute is this? The color is perfect. It's exactly what I'd hoped for and it's super soft. This is without a doubt the softest thing that has come so far. The outside is so, so soft. And according to Wish, this is $12. And it says down from $65, but we all know that's fake news. But $12 for this, that is amazing. Like the one that I'm wearing was, what did I say? $28 or something. And this is 12 and this is such better quality than what I have on right now. So I'm just gonna put it on quickly before Archie poos on it because he likes to poo on the things that I love. Can you not? Archie, no. Do you wanna come in? It's like a scene from Alien. <laughs> oh my god! This is so cute! I'm like, I'm shook. I am the shookest. This is beautiful. Look, look, it's got milk and it's got this adorable design on the back. Oh my god, guys, I am over the moon. This is, without a doubt, my favorite purchase out of absolutely everything so far. I love it. Uh, expectation reality wise, I think it's pretty on point. Colors look right, the shape is right, the fit looks right. Oh, thank you, Wish, I'm so happy. Now I know why they call peaches Momo in Japanese. It's because I want Momo clothing with peaches on it. Look at this tag. Let's go look at it somewhere else that isn't my shoulder. All right, you can have that, that's fine. You can have it, just play with it over there. You spend hundreds of dollars on toys for pets and then they end up amusing themselves with a piece of paper. Next up we have something that I'm very excited about. It is the first of our three wigs. Now this is definitely not what I thought it was going to be because in the photos it looked green. I mean, like it looked mint green. You probably can't tell on camera, but this is quite blue. I didn't notice when I bought it that it had black regrowth at the top. I had absolutely no idea. I think I just looked at the picture of the fishtail braid and I was like, oh sick, yeah, yeah, green. Didn't notice that there's black regrowth. So this one, according to Wish, is $16. And for $16, this wig got me shook. This is so soft. Like I'm running my hands through it and any knots are just coming straight out. This is amazing. In the past, I've paid like $200 for a wig like this. So I cannot praise this wig highly enough. I really hate, I'm not about this. I absolutely hate the black regrowth thing. But if you have black hair and you wear this, like if you naturally have black hair, this is gonna look a bit dumb on me because obviously I don't have black regrowth. You can tell just by looking at me. But if you're Asian or you have like quite dark hair, you might want to get this wig and it'll actually look like you've dyed your hair. I can't believe how soft this is. This is freaking me out. It's like silk. And look how long it is too. Say goodbye to my red hair because I'm about to become a pastel princess. See, I'm an expert at snatching wigs, but not putting them on. So if you have any tips for me, please let me know. These wigs did come with a hairnet, but between when I opened the package and now, I seem to have lost the net. My room is just that messy. I think that you do this. Does this look right? Oh, I feel like I'm out of Game of Thrones. Bobby pin the buggery out of this and hopefully it'll hold up. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Help me. <laughs> On with the wig. Now it looks like it's got little adjustable things, but I'm not gonna bother with that right now. What am I doing? Help. Oh, well that wasn't so bad. I feel like, uh, you know Narcissa Malfoy? This is probably what her hair looked like before she went old and her hair turned white. So this is called the Ultra Soft, tick, that's true, Mint Green, not true, Ombre Wig 
I guess that kind of gave it away, the ombre part in the title. I probably should have known by ombre that they meant that it was black. It says heat resistant fiber wig synthetic. Heat resistant synthetic. Okay, well, I'm honestly a little bit scared to go trying this with heat. Like, it's so pretty and I feel like I can't really trust what Wish says. I really don't think it's gonna be heat resistant, but we'll give it a go and we'll see. So in terms of expectation reality, this one is a solid no from me. This is nothing like what I expected it to be like. In terms of quality, I think this is actually really, really good. I'm pretty surprised. So I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. So this next one, this is very long. This is the 75 centimeter Sweet Lovely Harajuku Gradient Multicolor Carved Wig. Heat resistant apparently as well. Now this one is again $16. This is nowhere near as soft as the other one. Like nowhere near as soft. This one feels like gravel compared to the other one. But it's cute. Uh, it kind of looks like someone skinned Lady Rainicorn alive and then turned her into a wig. Is that how a wig is meant to go on? <laughs> okay, so someone made me a fan art account a while ago and they posted a picture of me with hair that looked like this. Like it literally looked exactly like this, but the photoshopping that she did looked a lot better than what this wig looks. This looks really weird. But actually, I don't mind it at all. It's nowhere near as pastel as it was in the photos. Nowhere near. Expectation reality is not on point. I don't think I'd ever wear this out in public. I might wear it for some photos, but what do you guys think? Do you like it? Anyway, it's still really cute. Like I would give this one maybe like a five out of 10. It's not particularly soft, but we'll see if it's heat resistant. If it's heat resistant, then for 16 bucks, like go for it. That is great. The last wig that we have is a purple to pink ombre. I'm really excited about this. Let's give it a go. Oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Oh yeah, is that right? Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, heck yes. I love it. This is so cute. Now this is the pastel that I was hoping for. This is definitely the right, the right shade. In the photos, it was straight. This one has some curls on the end. Now, is this meant to be heat resistant? No, this isn't. Well, it doesn't say that it's heat resistant, so I'm not gonna try because this is so cute. I don't wanna screw it up. I'm living for this purple to pink gradient. Watch out, Kayla Hadlington, coming to steal your brand. I love this. I feel like I could wear this every day. Like, I wanna wear this out and about, out in public. This is adorable. I actually really like this length on me. I guess I've had really, really long hair for so long and this little kind of like just below the shoulder length is really cute. The fringe in the photos came like this and then was longer on the side. This fringe is not as advertised. I guess you can always cut it. Is that something people do? Do people cut and style wigs? I feel like I don't want to screw this up. This is too pretty. I love it. How cute is this? Oh, I'm so happy. $21 according to the website. Now I think that's a bit weird because the ones that are heat resistant were 16. This isn't heat resistant and this is apparently 21, but this is by far the prettiest wig of all of them. It does actually kind of look like, I guess I've dyed my hair purple. It looks kind of natural. And I think that the way that it sits, if you kind of get the fringe right. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to leave this on for the rest of the video. This is adorable. I feel like I did a really bad job of uh, putting my hair up underneath. Oh my god, I love this so much. This is so cute! No, definitely, if you if you want a pink and purple wig, order this. This is amazing. I'm so impressed. Next up, we have something that's a little bit controversial. This is a fake Etude House lipstick. This is free right now on the Wish website. It says it's free and you just pay shipping and shipping is like $2. So to get something that looks like Etude House, it resembles Etude House and it's only $2. Now I don't really condone buying fakes or anything, but I do have an original here to compare it to. And can I just say they are basically identical. Oh, Archie has chosen the real one to chew on today. Not the fake one. We'll just have a little comparison, like a side by side comparison. So you might not be able to tell on camera. The trimming around the edges on the fake one appears to be spray painted gold, 
but the trimming around the real one is actually gold. I mean, not actually gold, but I think that the plastic itself is colored gold. So this one, they've kind of painted over the top of it. And on the little top notch, I can actually see that it's going black. It seems to be black underneath. But this one, I feel like if Archie chewed on this and chipped away at the paint, it would still be gold plastic. So aside from that, uh, packaging wise, they look very, very similar. The fake one appears to be a bit of a darker pink to what the real one is, but let's see how it applies. You know, are you bored of this now? Let's put it on. Ooh, she's pretty. No, Archie, you definitely cannot chew on this. Uh, eh, stop, stop. It's the colour that I thought that it was going to be. Like, the colour looks really, really cute. The little flower on the inside is adorable. Such a cute little touch. Oh, it smells like Turkish Delight. If, you know, like rose water. It's very light. It's more like a gloss rather than any sort of lipstick, which is what I expected. I'm not really sure how this witchcraft works. Like, something that's clear somehow goes on coloured. Friend, friend, no, no. But I absolutely love it. The second coat has got a lot more colour than what the first coat had and it applies so smoothly and it smells amazing and I'm really shocked at this. I wouldn't have bought this if it weren't for the video, like if someone hadn't requested it I wouldn't have paid to buy a fake Etude House product because I really like to support Etude House and I don't really want to support copies but you know each to their own if you want to buy fakes then this is absolutely adorable. It'll be cute for your Instagram photos. I guess you could kind of say this one is Gucci and this one is Forever 21 trying to be Gucci. Next up, we have something very exciting. The Stitch Dog Jacket. Oh yes, yes, he's come straight away to chew. He knows that this is for animals. He, oh, 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 he's taking it. Yep, yep, this is his now. This is Archie's now. Summer in Australia right now and I'm wearing a hoodie and a wig and I'm kind of dying. Now, I don't know how big dogs are in China, but I chose a medium. And this is definitely not a medium Australian dog. No way. This is teeny, teeny, tiny. In fact, I think this would fit Archie. In fact, I think we should try and put it on Archie. Archie, do you want to show your friends your costume? Do you like it? What do you think, Archie? A I'm gonna go over to mum and dad's house and I'm gonna try and put this on my toy poodle, okay? <laughs> I'll be back. Hello, Geordie. Hello. Hello, you've got a terrible haircut. How's that, Geordie? He's actually taking this very well. He's taking it like a champion. It's too small. <laughs> what do you think, Bubba? It's too hot. Ugh. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Judy. Judy. <laughs> mummy, oh, get mommy, it off. Get me. it off. Protect me, mummy. Get it off. I've got a straight jacket on. I don't know any dog that would fit. Yeah, if you were a chihuahua, it would be pretty good. Huh? Does it fit on your head? <laughs> no. 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 Nice try. Nice try, Wish. So I guess $10 for something that's about 10 sizes too small is alright. That's not bad. Like, it's actually really well made. It feels very, very thick. But expectation reality-wise, it is actually exactly what I thought it would be. The ears are nowhere near as big as they are in the photo. Like nowhere near as big. Like in terms of what it is, it's exactly what I thought it would be and it's pretty cute. I like it. Next up we have something that's pretty exciting. It's a pair of shoes and they are really, really cute. I'm loving them. I don't normally like this style of shoe. I have never owned shoes that look like this in my life, but they actually look really cute. I was not able to get my size. Oh, look at that. These shoes are so light that Archie can pick them up. I have never felt such a light shoe in my life. It weighs like 10 grams. I don't know what this is made of. It's like it's made of polystyrene or something. It's not rubber, that's for sure. It's, it's not hollow because I'm tapping it and it doesn't sound hollow, but I have no idea what this is or why it is so light. I know that they aren't my size, but we'll see how we go. Come on, Archie, I need that. Can you give it back, please? You can't have everything. 
You spoiled only child. Look, they're so cute. I actually really like them. I can't believe that I've never owned a pair of shoes like this before. Wait a second. I'm so confused. How do I do this up? What the hell? I am so confused. There's a, a buckle, but there's like a thing here. I don't understand. I am so confused. Hang on. Let's let's inspect this a little bit closer, shall we? So basically what I'm confused about here is that there's this thing, which is like, uh, I don't know, like a hook kind of thing. And then there's the strap. And I think that the strap is meant to go through this hoop, but then I have no idea how this clasp is meant to work. Maybe you're just meant to kind of put it like that. Yeah, I, I guess that's it. Hang on, okay, let's give this a go. <laughs> I got it working. That's super cute. I can't, I just, I'm, I cannot believe how light this is. There is something wrong here. This should not be so light. Like I said, I invest all this money in buying toys and he likes to chew on anything that belongs to me and nothing that belongs to him. It's funny because I wasn't able to get my size, but they fit okay. They're a little tiny bit tight, but you know what? It doesn't actually matter what I tell you about these shoes because they're sold out, according to Wish. They were $17 and it says they are sold out. So unless you spot a photo of something similar, and I'm going to assume that they are probably coming from the same factory, but the ones that I bought this particular pair from is gone. And I can see why, because these are actually really cool. I don't think they're worth $17 at all. This is something that should be worth $3, you know, like that jumper. Oh, God, I can't even thread this stupid thing. Ah, oh, my acrylic nails make this so hard! <sighs> Archie, you're not helping. You are not helping at all, friend. No, you're- no! No! Archie! Aha, success. I've threaded it. Oh my god. Ugh, this stupid mechanism to do them up. Okay, there, that's as good as it's gonna get. Thumbnail! Archie just pooed. He just pooed on this shirt. <sighs> just because the shirt is shit doesn't mean we should shit on it, friend. Anyway, so these shoes, they are so light that it feels like you're walking on clouds, except the clouds are made of razor blades and that's not rain, it's just your blood pouring out of your blisters. Ow, don't chew on my toes! There's only one more item to look at and it's one that I'm very excited about. Ow, ow, ow! The final item of the day is a pink ukulele! Isn't that adorable? I'm absolutely in love with this shade of pink. This is so cute. Oh, it was $41. Down from $360. Fake news! Definitely not $360. I don't think this is really worth $40 either. However, I'm not really well advised in the ukulele market, so I don't really know how much ukuleles normally cost. But for $40, you would really hope that it was very, very good. Let's give it a listen. Beautiful. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea how to play the ukulele, but we'll try. We'll give you a little rendition. What's a famous ukulele song? So I won't buy from Wish no more, no more. I am so broke, I'm poor. There's no need to buy this stuff Cause it's all crap This was just for my haul I don't know. Anyway, the ukulele is very, very light. Like, light as a feather. It's making a rattling sound, which isn't really a good sign. But the, the colour is absolutely adorable. That is the cutest shade of pink. And look, if you know how to play the ukulele, I reckon you could probably buy one of these and really enjoy it. Expectation reality wise, it is exactly what I expected it would be. I mean, it's a pink ukulele. That's exactly what I thought and that's what it is. That's it guys. Let's have some real talk now. Let's talk about the quality of some of these things and what my final thoughts are. So my final thoughts on part one of my I spent $500 at Wish haul. Hmm, I'm impressed. I am impressed. The standouts of the day are definitely the peach hoodie, the 
pink and purple Kayla Hadlington wig, the Etude House lipstick, and the Angel t-shirt. Ow, 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 ow. I also highly commend the shoes, even though they are $17 and probably not worth it. They are really, really cute and I'm very happy with them. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know that I should make more in the future. I'm thinking of doing a fashion overhaul, a Shein haul, a Chew haul. There's a couple of places that I've been wanting to buy things from for ages. And if you have any of those places in mind that you want to buy things from but you're just not sure, please don't forget to send me a message and let me know and I might just buy it for my channel. Don't forget to give us a subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!